Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one is another ransomware test with some software called Hitman Pro Alert. Now you guys have been requesting this for quite a bit on the forums and also uh, on the comment section and messaging me and uh, I thought I'd make this video for you. So let's take a look at Hitman Pro Alert and what it does. You can see here if you want to use this software to protect yourself uh, against ransomware it does come with some sort of a crypto guard on it. Um, but it's not cheap. You have to purchase this uh, per year. You can see Hitman Pro here is this price. I think this is uh, euros. Um, I think that uh, symbol. Um, but Hitman Pro Alert 1 for one PC for one year is 29.95, and for three years 59.95. So I'm going to be downloading uh, the trial version, uh, and we're going to have a go at that. Now, if you're running a business, obviously it goes up a fair bit, which uh, obviously is quite a bit of money. So let's take a look at how good it is at protecting your system. Now, if you want to learn all about it, uh, you can come to this website and read about it. I'm not going to spend too much time going through what it does and what it doesn't do, uh, but you can come over here. Someone's written a massive big article on it, and it gives you all the uh, information here. So you can see the bit that we're interested in is the crypto guide stopped ransomware. And you can see a picture here of uh, CBT locker and uh, crypto locker and some other bits and pieces on here. So you can see here uh, alert as all these features on it, which is crypto guard, uh, webcam notifier, uh, process protection key, stroke encryption, and loads of other bits and pieces. Uh, exploit migrations, uh, quite a lot of different uh, features that it has built into the actual software. So if you're interested in that, you can go over there and have a good read up. Let's get this installed on the system. Uh, this is a brand new, fresh install of Windows 10, um, anniversary edition. So what we're going to do here is maximum protection. Make sure we've got the maximum protection on. Uh, perform a malware scan after the installation, accept their terms, and install their software onto this system. Now we have been doing quite a few ransomware ones over the last few days and I just wanted to sort of tie this down a little bit with some protection. Uh, I did one yesterday and I wanted to do some other, show you some other software that you can use to protect against ransomware. I will do another uh, Win Patrol's uh, Win Anti Ransom. Uh, we're going to be doing another test for that with some other types of ransomware because they've just done a big update. So I wanted to cover that as well and some other bits and pieces with other software as well. But if you've got any ideas or any suggestions, then you can always put them in the comment section below or on the forums, join the forums over there, free to join and uh, join the community over there. That's probably gonna be the best place to post your video requests because obviously they're gonna get seen and also I don't forget about them and I also read there quite a lot. So we're just gonna let this do its scan, its preliminary scan of the system, just so we're fully protected. Now, obviously, I have got uh, a password-protected ransomware here with some ransomware inside. And we're going to put it through its paces and see what it can do. Now, again, you know my uh, my philosophy on ransomware. The only way to protect yourself is to back up your data on a regular basis and store it away from the computer itself. So never rely on one piece of software or any software as a matter of fact and that includes hitman pro alert i would not put all my eggs in one basket and let software uh, protect my system i would always back up as well and do some other bits and pieces so don't just rely on software to do the job for you and when it doesn't work or it fails then blame the software you know you've got yourself to blame so let's take a look at uh, this scan it's nearly completed now now I have turned off, I'll quickly show you, I have turned off the uh, Windows Defender here on here because I don't want it interfering with some of the ransomware on the system. So I've turned this all off here. Okay. Now obviously you would be having this uh, on your system uh, running as well which will give you added protection. So we're putting a bit of a, a workload onto uh, Hitman Pro Alert. Now also Hitman Pro Alert does come with a standard user interface and also an advanced user interface for experienced users. You can have a look at that by clicking the little cogwheel here and you can see it gives you the scanning, uh, safe browsing, uh, expl um, exploit migration and also risk reduction. He said explicit then. Um, 
but you can see here some other bits and pieces now it does come with some good features on here some uh, like crypto guard and I said USB uh, protection and stuff like that there's loads of others bits and pieces you can see we're running on a, a trial license that is the scan now finished so we're just going to delete all this junk no threats found it's just rubbish on the system we'll just let this close off and then we'll continue with our test I'm just going to test a few ransomware here I'm not going to go too mad um, and we'll give it a test so here we go so I'm just going to drop that down there and we're going to let's open up process explorer as well get process explorer on the go I also want to add in check virus total here we click yes for that okay so it's going to guard our browser got that running and I'm just going to drag virus total along over here so we can see here what's what's happening with the system I'm going to pull this down as well and also want to do the uh, pane view here for the DLLs and we can see that there and uh, what we're going to do is just pull this back down here so I want to keep an eye on what's going on with the system okay so we're all preset let's extract all these files onto our desktop so I'm just going to quickly put in the password and uh, I'm going to give this a test so first off let's uh, try Petya do the red version here and let's say yes to the user account control to allow that to inject itself on the system and you can see here we've got that running and you can see Petya here and straight away the attack has been in intercepted uh, by Hitman Pro alert now it's asking you to scan I'm just going to show this off here shut that off so we can see that's been uh, blocked and that was the I think that was the was that the green one or the red one I can't remember so we'll try the uh, this one here I may have done this one already okay you see that one's been blocked straight away and you get the technical details here too what that file was and where the location and some other bits and pieces so I'm going to close this off and you can see here there's nothing running on here we will do a scan at the end of it just to test what was going on and uh, let's try uh, CBT locker I'm just going to quickly click on this one and we'll open up this now you can see there is some files being detected here by a virus total just open it up a little bit more and you can see what it's trying to do I can see here and you can see hitman pro alert up the top here it's trying to do something as well on the screen you can see the uh, CPU is doing something so these two are working together it's trying to block something maybe uh, and stopping that getting on the system I would have thought that, uh, we would have had a, a sign come up at the moment saying uh, process blocked but it's still running as you can see here on this system so I'll leave this running for a bit longer as you can see here that process is starting to churn away for that um, ransomware you can see now the system is still okay at the moment it's not Got onto the system or done anything as of yet as you can see but it's not completely closed this process off and that's um, quite dangerous having that running like this because that means if this ever lets up that could then suddenly drop and then do its deed and drop its payload onto the computer and then encrypt all the data so I'm not sure why that is not closed that off as of yet and it's still running um, whether it's having trouble doing that I don't know whether this is continually restarting itself I don't know what's going on there but this is definitely uh, doing something um, 
because I can see the CPU is churning away here. So let me just uh, log off and log, log back on to see whether that closes this process. I don't want um, Windows Defender jumping back on and killing this process. So I'll have to be quick to try and stop that. So let me just quickly log off, sign out, Let me just quickly sign back in. I just want to make sure because that does restart itself, Windows Defender, and I don't want that happening. Okay, it's not. But sometimes this restarts itself for no apparent reason, which I don't want happening because it will start to delete these and cause problems. So now that could have been sit I don't know how long that would have sat there for but that could have been sitting there for quite some time um, until I restarted so let's fire up process explorer again now that process should be killed off now because obviously I've uh, restarted or logged off and logged on there's something here running I can see as you can see here in the temp folder something's jumped into that temp area something's managed to get in there which is that file it's still running as you can see the file is still managed to get into this area into the temp area and uh, this hitman pro alert has let that get to that temp area here so I'm just going to give this a bit more time now again I'm not so sure that's supposed to have got that far on the system I thought it would have been blocked before it got to the temp area here and this was CBT locker um, here so I'm just going to quickly explore this area and there it is there as you can see it's sitting there waiting to do its thing and it's trying to connect out so whether that's gonna continue to do that and, and manage to encrypt my data I don't know as of yet but that's not good so I'll give it a bit of time I'll pause it here and come back in a sec but I don't think that's gonna I don't think that process is going to be killed. I think it's trying to stop it from doing its thing, but I don't think it's going to kill this process. So what we'll do is we'll just leave it for now. Well, no, I can't continue until this has been resolved, really. I can see the CPU now is at 100%. Okay, so I'm looking here now down the bottom, and I can see there was a. this did manage to drop down here. I've just missed that. This file suddenly got down here and it said suspended. And I just missed it. Oh, oh, there we go. So it could manage to stop it. It just was relentless at continual, probably continually pummeling Hitman Pro Alert and eventually it's let it drop onto the system. And I did see that there, and I just missed that on the camera. It just dropped down the bottom here, and it did say uh, suspended. Hitman Pro Alert suspended it, I, I should imagine. There's no, there's no encryption here, so maybe it's blocked the encryption, but it's let this thing go on, which isn't a bad thing, really, because this is easily solved. Um, so maybe it has done its job and maybe on first my first reactions was it's let it uh, onto the system and encrypt the files but it hasn't I can see the in, in the documents area here you can see that's the photo and uh, I can't see any extensions with uh, encryptions on them so I don't think the encryption's dropped in this case and maybe uh, Hitman Pro Alert has blocked that let me just get rid of this and then we'll continue 
So I'm going to quickly restart the system here because uh, this process is still running here in the temp folder, um, which I think should have been killed off by now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a quick reboot and uh, see if this is still running once, once we've done that. And that shouldn't, in my opinion, be still running here. That should have been killed off. So we'll quickly reboot and uh, we'll go from there. So on restart, we've now got uh, the Microsoft uh, Windows malicious software removal tool. I'll say yes to that. And I want to make sure that we've got that turned off. It's on. So we'll turn that back off. Okay. So let's uh, carry on. I'm just going to quickly open up Process Explorer here. And I think that's uh, now removed that process. I think uh, the Microsoft tool has removed that process. Let me just quickly check that location. So let's go into, I think it was in the temp area, I think that file was, that file is now gone as you can see. So maybe uh, that program, Hitman Pro Alert, uses that to, to remove it, I don't know. Maybe you'll be able to see this video and let us know. But uh, what we're going to do here is continue. Uh, I'm going to test it with something else here. So we're going to try uh, a new one. So let's just see what else we can try here. I'm going to try this here. Let's try that. That's blocked. Access denied. Let's try this one. And I'm going to look here. And I can see here already that this is uh, doing its thing here. It's been suspended. You can see suspended here uh, by probably Hitman Pro Alert has actually suspended that file. This has popped up on the screen. Not sure what that is, but we'll take a look in a sec. And you can see it suspended this uh, process from doing its deed. We've still got this process running here, as you can see. And you can see it's malicious. And that is on the desktop. So we're just going to let this uh, run for a bit. You can see Hitman Pro Alert is doing its, I think it's churning away there a little bit. It's not going too mad, but it's probably doing its job. And we'll give this a bit of time and see what happens here. And I'll just quickly uh, shut this back bit off here. So we're not getting those uh, messages across the screen here for every ransomware. We're not getting that coming up from Hitman Pro Alert. And we want to wait a little bit of time to see whether it, what happens with this process here. So I'm trying to give it as much time as possible to see what happens. That seems to be going like the clappers, that tyworker.exe. Oh, 
as we can see here now that's now been blocked that process has been terminated to prevent execution of mis malicious code so that was trying to do some bits there so what we're going to do here is close that off I don't think it uh It didn't delete those. It did drop something in here, but it didn't uh, in, didn't delete or encrypt them or anything like that. So it's trying to stop something. Now it's it's still going down the bottom here. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's still no, it's not completely killed off. It's still running here. So I'm not sure how this works. So we're going to leave that running for now. Uh, I'm going to log off and log back on and see what happens. What I can't understand is it said that process was killed, uh, but it was obviously still running there. Let's just make sure this doesn't restart itself. fine so yeah we got the message saying that the process was killed but yet um, process explorer was saying it was still running which was very strange okay that's now gone but that's only because I logged off and logged back on again but if you was PC was running 24 hours a day there's a strong possibility that that could still be running and still cause a problem I suppose um, but what we'll do is we'll move on um, I'm not sure if we've done this one but we'll give it a go that's closed block that okay so we'll do the good old Tesla crypt I'll give that a quick whiz as you can see volume shadow copy service I'm going to say yes and you can see that's now been blocked I'm going to say yes again details so anyway as you can see there we'll just try one more here crypto locker Let's say yes here. Okay. So I think we've done enough here. I'm going to quickly run a, a test on the system. I'm going to get rid of all this. Let me just quickly um, see what's running here first on the system if there's anything running. And then we'll run a quick scan with Hitman Pro. So let me just try and get rid of all this here. Okay, so let me just quickly log off and log back on and then I'll run a scan. There we go okay so let's empty this out so we're going to scan the computer and as you can see here there has been some uh, trojans dropped on the system now if we had to run the scan after we got hit with those these would have probably been deleted straight away by hitman pro but you can see here um, we've got these in the documents area and in the windows area so when it says run scan once it detects something that's what you need to do you know obviously you need to run a scan at that stage I never and I ignored that because I was trying to get the content out 
um, but basically these would have probably been detected and removed anyway which is probably the correct uh, way of doing it so we'll just leave this uh, to do its scan and finish off and then we'll check uh, the images you can see everything's all fine it did block all of those it didn't allow to encrypt my data there was some bits and pieces happening on the system like a few files that it dropped down maybe it just changed the wallpaper that's about it but it blocked everything else um, from encrypting my files and of course if we did a quick cleanup of the temp files and all that sort of stuff we'd be pretty good to go so I'm going to reboot here and then I'm going to run another scan with something else just to make sure so I'm going to quickly reboot let's just get a quick scan going here and then we'll smart scan deep scan we'll do a deep scan here see if there's anything left on the system I'll just run this and let this go so we're just letting this scan finish off here now and as you can see Hitman Pro Alert has done an outstanding job at blocking uh, all those ransomware from encrypting your data. That is the key part here. In, it stopped in, uh, ransomware from encrypting all your data. Now, would I rely on one piece of software to stop that? No, I would always follow some other protocol like uh, backing up your data, you know, running some other software on there as well, protection. You know, and using common sense, don't click in on stuff and, and stuff like that. And you should keep safe, really. So there's your test. I would, I was trying to, make, I know the video has been a bit long, but I didn't want to sort of cut and wipe stuff out. I wanted to show you the whole process and what's been happening uh, when I tried to inject those on the system. Very strange how the uh, actual message said the process has uh, been stopped and stopped it encrypting your data, and yet in uh, Process Explorer, it was still sitting there for quite some time, obviously doing stuff. Um, I'm not so sure about what's going on there, uh, but maybe the creator of the program will be able to answer that better. But um, as you can see, it's done an outstanding job at blocking all those ransomware and uh, stopping it from encrypting my data, which has been a very good success. So anyway, I'll leave the uh, decision up to you, whether you think it's worthy of the money uh, and, and all that sort of good stuff. And I hope you found this uh, video helpful. We'll just let this scan finish off and I'll wrap the video up and uh, edit it all and get it uploaded for you guys. So there's the scan actually now completed. Congratulations, the PC is clean, which is great news. So I'm going to wrap this video up. So I hope this one's been helpful to you guys. I hope it's been useful in showing you how strong software, some software is at blocking ransomware and uh, give it a go i mean if you fancy uh, buying a piece of software there's loads of variations out there that you can use uh, i'll try and test some other ones so you can see them in action and you can make your choice whether you want to use them or not or whether you want to run the risk of not using them or whether you're just uh, happy backing up data and not using that type of software altogether it's entirely up to you anyway i'm going to wrap this one up it's been a long one and uh, i shall see you again in the next video my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i do upload new videos and also if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or anything like that then head over to the forums and join up over there it's free to join and also if you haven't got uh if you enjoy my Facebook fan page, you can pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Maybe write a review over there or something like that. I'll show your appreciation. Anyway, thanks again. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.